guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to review slash this is kind of going to be like a wedding series since I'm engaged and so now I'm planning for a wedding. So I bought this on Amazon. It says the complete wedding planner and I kind of just wanted to show y'all what's in it before I do anything. I've written in it just a little bit so we're going to ignore that <laughs> but for the most part I haven't touched anything and so I just kind of want to show y'all what's all in it so if you're planning a wedding as well just like I am you have an idea because a lot of this stuff I didn't even think about and then while I start completing it I will also show that and plus a bunch of other wedding DIYs and then when the wedding gets closer just stuff that I make for it and then like my bridesmaids what I make for them and so yeah if you want to I guess join me on this wedding adventure keep on watching okay so this is what it looks like on the back it just says congratulations on getting engaged and just kind of what this is all about and i'll put pictures up so that y'all can see what i'm looking at as well so the very first thing you see when you open up the planner is you see the wedding of blank and blank obviously i put tay and jordan and then a little thing for your notes i think this is kind of cute because well i mean you're planning your wedding and even after your wedding this would be a cute little keepsake to remember like what you did and so then we turn the page and it just shows everything that's gonna be within this book. And so the first title page is your wedding vision. So let's flip this tab. And so it has another tab for notes and it says discuss your wedding day with your partner. And I put like our theme, I'm not gonna show this page since I've already written in it and I don't want to not give away, but like showcase where I plan on having my wedding just because it's going on the internet, y you know, you know. And then I think my favorite part is for everything it has a tab for, it has a vision board. I am going to do this and film a video on it within the series, but later on I just wanna show what it looks like. So it has a ceremony vision board, it has the reception vision board, the gown accessories vision board, groom's outfit vision board, bridal party vision board, transport and accommodation vision board, sorry I can't talk today, cake and catering vision board, makeup and beauty vision board, they have a honeymoon vision board, and inspiration vision board, which is good because you know, sometimes when you're putting stuff together like this, you wanna be able to see it. And so I love that this is in there because you can be reminded while you're going through all of this, what is exactly your game plan. Okay, so the next tab is the fundamentals and timeline. It says, this section is your main wedding planning section. Firstly, choose your bridal party and set your budget. Track all of your key dates and milestones with your countdown calendar. Okay, again, it has a section for notes. So it says, choose your bridal party. I covered this up because I don't want anyone to know who I want in my bridal party yet. Um, so it has like maid of honor, best man. It has bridesmaids, ushers, which I guess is the groomsmen, you know. And then it has flower girls and ring bearers. I don't know. But anyway, yes, okay, so that has that. So that's the first thing you see is choose your bridal party. And then the next page is set your budget. Um, it kind of gives you some ideas and some tips. And then like for me, I've never planned a wedding, so I don't know who pays for what. I don't know what really what you're supposed to pay for. And so it, I love how it gives who traditionally pays for what. It gives ceremony, wedding attire, flowers and decorations, honeymoon, photography, video, pre-parties, reception, rings, stationery, and wedding transfer. But it shows like who traditionally pays for what, which is good because again, I don't know what I'm doing. And it also comes with this cute little like budget planner. But that's this cute little budget planner, which I will definitely be using because me and my dad are going to be doing most of this just because I'm very organized and I love this. I'll be able to write everything down so we have step by step. And then one of the tips that I liked the most, if our budget is 30000 we can only spend 27000 and the rest of it is for emergencies or unexpected surprises like it said. And then I love how it gives a wedding countdown. 12 months to go, 10 to 11 months to go, 9 to 7, 6 to 5. Four to three, two months to go. And I love how it has that, because then like for me, I'm like, oh snap, yeah, you're right. I love the little checkoffs, because I mean, I wanna make sure I'm getting everything, you know, done. And then I love how it has a countdown calendar. It has a countdown calendar. I probably won't fill that in until we get closer. But yeah, it has like, like I think 18 months um, calendar. And then it has this, a section for notes, which I also have a bunch of sticky notes, and so I'll be putting that in here as well. Okay, next tab is guest planning. This section will help you keep track of who has been invited, who is attending, and is also handy to track any gifts received from your guests. I'm going to do a registry with Amazon, I believe, 
and so I'm not really gonna use the thing to help me track gifts. I might use it to put down who got me what, because that's, you know, I would like to know that. Again, it has another section for your notes. And so it says, wedding guest list etiquette. And it just lists a bunch of stuff like friends and family, work, others, friends, money saving tips. And they have a lot of those tips around, which I really, really do like. And so I think I love this. It has things for your guests and it lists off, um, you do day guest, evening guest, save the date sent, invite sent attending. And so this will let you know, did I send them the save the date? Did I send them the invite? Are they attending? Yes, things like that. Okay, so within the guest planning, it has seating plans. The head table, which is the bride and group's table, as Mr. and Mrs., you may want to sit on a rectangular table at the end of the room. Some venues will raise this higher off the ground to create a focal point. It's tradition that the groom sits to the bride's right and the best man sits to her left. The maid of honor typically sits to the groom's right, although it's completely up to you to do things your way. The typical head table layout, and it kind of has a traditional seating plan and a popular alternative plan. I did not know that there was a thing to that. That's actually kind of cool though. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Oh, okay, so it has, ooh, this is cool. It has um, like table, like arrangement and like the head table. So you can fill this out. So this is the head table and you can fill in like this is table one, table two, table three. That's actually kind of cool how organized it is. And it'll help you too like, if we do decide to do table numbers, I'm making all of the like acrylic signs and it'll help a lot with that. And then it also has table layout. So let's say we decide in the venue and I wanna, I guess, to draw out where everything is. It has table layouts, which is, I mean, which is nice. I probably won't use this part just because I don't, I won't need it, but it's okay. Okay, so this, this part within the guest planning is the gift list and it has the item, where from, quantity, and price. And so that's just if you want to keep in track of who got you what and they have several pages of that and then again they have more notes okay the next tab is venues and vendors 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 venues and vendors okay this section will help you keep track of all of your vendors and your wedding venues hotels and guest accommodation choosing your venue is no doubt one of the biggest decisions you will have to make it will set the tone for your whole wedding day Depending on your priorities for the day, it's likely going to be the single highest individual cost. So make sure you and your partner are both in agreement before putting down a deposit. And then it just has a thing for like, remember like location, capacity, budget, style, guest accommodation, and the staff. I know for sure I want to do food trucks. One, I've found out that it's a lot cheaper to do. And you know, I want to support smaller businesses and I love a good taco truck. So I'm excited for that. I have an idea of where I want our wedding to be. We just need to look at venues that are over in that area. And then it has guest accommodation if you're getting married at a hotel or venue. Okay, so it says a guest accommodation, accommodation options, accommodation name, distance to venue, number of rooms available, number of family rooms available, cost per room, and is breakfast included type things. And it has even more. And then it says choosing your vendors. Okay, so it has choosing your wedding photographer and videographer. And it just has some tips, places to write down name, website, all that good stuff more money saving tips and has questions for the photographer things to ask them and a tip as well and then it has questions for the videographer as well and then notes for you to write down and then they have another section for the dress it says that they say you know when you found your perfect dress which i will know when i you. so yeah and then it has questions to ask whenever you're getting your dress you know, do you offer alterations in the store? How many appointments do you recommend? Am I planning to lose, gain weight before the wedding? How will this affect the dress I've chosen? Things like that. And then it has um, like my favorite dresses, dress size, designer. And then it has bridesmaids dresses. And then there's the groom's outfit and groomsman outfits. And then, wait, wait, what's a vendor? Okay, so I was on the right track. So a wedding vendor is anyone you pay for products or services for your wedding. Products can include invitations, a wedding dress, wedding favors, etc. Services can include catering, transportation, music, whatever. So I was going more towards the catering aspect, and so that's what I was meaning earlier, but there's plenty of other um, services that you can pay for, for a vendor. And then it has more questions that you can ask for your caterer or vendor. It also has questions to ask your florist, things like that. And then your wedding cake, I guess, like what you're looking for. It has questions for you to ask yourself. Do you want it to match your theme and all that good stuff? It has another page for wedding hair, things to ask whoever's doing your hair for me. My aunt is going to be doing my hair. 
things to consider, wedding makeup, things to ask, things to consider, and then like beauty treatments. Are you gonna get your are you gonna get your nails done? Are you gonna get waxing? Are you gonna get a massage? Never would have thought about that, so I'm kinda glad it's written down. I literally just had to look that up. Officiant. That person it has questions to ask them, our chosen officiant, wedding transport, things to ask, and then what our company is. It has a title, like page for entertainment, the company name, phone number, all that good stuff, and like many options to write down different um, companies that you decide to use. It also has favors, popular ideas, and like notes if you want to put that in there as well. Wedding bands, tips on choosing your rings. We already got my ring, look at that. Sorry, okay. It has wedding bands, ring size, jewelry store, more notes you can put in there as well. Stationery, engagement party invites, save the date cards, bridal shower invites, things like that. It also has a wedding website. So for your wedding website, it kind of lists things that you need to remember, like RSVP about you, your partner, your wedding party, links to guest accommodations, things like that. And then it has another title page, researching honeymoon destinations. It has some tips, places, and best times to visit things like that, honeymoon notes, some more notes, things you need to do. And then the last tab is our wedding day. This section includes all of the useful information for your wedding day. Keep track of your readings, music choices, itinerary, and more. It has another page and it says readings. Who to choose to do your readings, our top biblical readings, and our top non-biblical readings. And then it says our reading, so we'll put in what we want to read. It has a page for music choices, another page for creating your photography list, things that you want your photographer to take pre-wedding ceremony, the journey to the ceremony, and informal shots. It also has it for your ceremony, bridal party, family, and wedding day reception. And then it kind of gives you a sample itinerary. So like description, photographer arrives, 905, owner, Lucy reception and then it has for you to put your own and then it has a wedding day survival kit and just like things that you need to like you know you want with you and then this is kind of cool it has a honeymoon packing checklist must-haves things the bride needs things the grooms need things you both need to share um and then things we need to leave behind with family or friends and then it has writing your vows and then things to consider. It has a page for you to write your own vows and a page for your partner to write their vows. And then it has last minute to do's. And then it says, ready, steady, wed. Top tips for your big day. Honestly, I really like this planner, especially coming from someone who, I mean, I've never planned a wedding before. I think I've only been to like two or three weddings in my whole life. So I don't really know what goes on behind the scenes. And especially since I'm planning most of this with my dad, I'm glad that I have something like this. And honestly, I think it was the most recommended on Amazon. All I know is that it, one, it's super cute. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get a, a lot of use out of this and it's gonna be something cute to hold and to remember um, years after we do get married. But yeah, I'm excited. Honestly, I really do like it. It's very informative, very detailed. It even has an email for if there's anything else that you would like to add, you can email your suggestions to them. So I really like it. And that's my honest review on this. I think it's a great thing, especially one, don't know what you're doing. Two, first time doing a wedding. Three, you want a little cute keepsake. So yeah. But yeah, just stay tuned for this for the wedding series. I just have a lot more ideas I wanna do. And especially when I start making like my bridesmaids gifts, DIYing stuff for the wedding, making stuff for me too, cause you know, I gotta make stuff for me as well. So definitely just stay tuned and then just let me know in the comments what else y'all wanna see. All right.